What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Dominaria draft. I, uh, I'm i just going to actually run through all these Dominaria packs until we have no more. Um, just because I, I, I just want to make sure I don't actually open anything worth uh, more than 14 cents. I feel like that's going to... Uh, you know, just if we don't have any packs left, then we can't be like, oh, well, it was probably in the last pack. I'll just make sure that there's nothing, nothing more than a quarter in these packs. I'll take this two at a giant. Uh, I like Blessed Light better. I like Call the Cavalry a lot, but I think two at a giant's really strong, so. Actually, it's probably Blessed Light, to be quite honest. I like, I think white's probably the strongest color in this set. We'll take, oh, and we get a Seal Away and a Blessed Light pass to us. That's impressive. Our, our opponent took the rare, so it was probably a Karn. They probably just, Magic Online just probably messed up and gave it to the one person next to us. So I'm going to take this Seal Away. And I'll take this third Blessed Light. Okay. Well, now we, uh, we know, we, I think we picked the right colors here, so. You didn't think you know two-headed giant was a rare? I think if you read that card, it's pretty obvious that's a rare. That guy is a that is a rare ability. A four-four for four in red. Like those stats are already above. Like usually red creatures are gonna be below on stats, like a two-one for two, or a two-two for two that can't block. So your stats are already low. Um <laughs> Helena, do me a favor, don't pause me. I'm important for his life. Marks, hope that helped you out, buddy. Oh, good times, good times. Is it three blessed light or two lights and it's two lights and one seal? I mean, we've opened we opened three. We had to pass a, a third seal, a third blessed light for seal. So if we've opened three, we've seen three blessed lights. Um, Firefest that up's great, but I don't foresee us being red. I'll just take the Drake, and I'll take a Cloud Reader Sphinx. <laughs> Grow? I think Academy Drake's much better than Grow. <laughs> anytime, Marks. Anytime. Uh, yeah, I'll take Cloud Stinks. That's a good card. And maybe Syncopate comes back, huh? Huh? I don't like Sarah Disciple. I think I'm fine with Honor Guard. And by fine, I mean, eh. What can you do? Eh. I wonder how many people are going to check their computer after they hear that noise. They're like, oh, dang, did something go wrong? There's a notification. Blue white is super strong, and after the last after the last draft, I just feel like this is probably the the way to go. So I feel more comfortable about that. I love you and your content more than I love my own kids. Well, don't do that. That I can't recommend. But uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate the gesture. I'm going to take this unicorn. Yeah, we're setting up for a Teferi in pack three, 100%. Yeah, that's... I'll keep my fingers crossed for that one. JK. I don't cross my fingers for for Tefries anymore. Do people watch Twitch on their computers, sitting up sounds, sitting up, sitting, sitting up sounds. Ex oh, sitting up. I got gotcha. you. Uh, where is Swole Mike and Thick Mike? I, I assume at their houses. Uh, Mike's probably in his room. Maybe I have no idea. I do not keep track of them when they are not here. They are they are they are adults with their own lives. Have you cracked any mythics at all in these 35? Oh, yeah, of course. We've opened a ton of uh, Jaya. Jaya Ballards. Uh, I've opened a good amount of Multanis. Other than that, no. No, we have not. 
Talarian Scholar probably probably terrible. Oh, Call the Cavalry comes back. Wow, that is beautiful. Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay, I'll take you. You're just fine. Uh, Befuddle's cute if we get the opponent with the Evra. Yeah, Multani's great, except for when you want to sell it and you get 14 cents for it. That's the best part about Multani. Good old Multani. Yeah, I'll take Rescue. We could hit something cute with that. Also, all our sideboard cards have been good so far, so that's cool. Yeah, I don't crack Mythos in drafts or prize packs, so... Unfortunately, you still have it better than me. I'm going to take this Black Blade Reforged. Not only is this, like, the only card in this pack for us, it's actually very good, so. Oh, uh, see, in this pack, has tons of good things. Sanctum Spirit, Second Academy Drake, Syncopate, Jousting Lance. So. Lots of things to do. It's probably Sanctum Spirit here. Especially with uh, Black Blade Reforged before we get a, a, a joust, another Jousting Lance at some point, so I'm okay with that. I saw Befuddle ever come happen IRL right next to me. That sounds pretty excellent. Oh, Banalish Marshall, Wizard's Retort. Probably Banalish Marshall. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty easy pick. Academy Journey Mage. That's exactly where we're taking these uh, the Talarian Scholar, just so we can play this guy on turn four. Pretty easy pick. Sanctum Spirit seems fine. It's like a, it's a 3-2 with first... Like, you played 3-2 sometimes. It's a 3-2 with first strike, and you can just actually sometimes mize an indestructible. Like, it's... You're never going to have enough significant... A significant number of uh, historic spells that you're going to want to discard to keep them alive, so... It's whatever. Want to say thanks for the content. Watched you lots of years ago. I had to take a few years off. Saw one of your Dom drafts pop up on YouTube, and now... Dang, that's so awesome for, to hear. Thank you so much, man. Scarf it in. Scarfed, scarfed in. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out how to parse that. I'm gonna take blink of an eye. That's a good thing. Syncopate seems good. I like having at least one syncopate or at least one counter spell in the deck because, as you can see from the last draft, there's a lot of things that are uh, hard to deal with. Scarp head. No, oh, I would have never gotten that. I would I would have put that P that PH together is pretty unfortunate just because you're like uh, trying to put them together. I'm gonna take this arcane flight because when we can put on a sanctum spirit, that's pretty OP. It's also good if we get that one snapper that you always want. What up, Grandma? Good to see you. Always a pleasure. It's my grandma. It's not. It's just a joke, but it's still funny. It's still good times. I can't ever imagine discarding our Black Blade to, uh, to Sanctum Spirit, but, you know, if they're at two and they try to kill our Sanctum Spirit, maybe it happens. If they're at two, I don't know why we haven't just played the Black Blade by that point, but, you know, crazier things have happened. Oh, short sword is great. I'm a fan of all of these things.
Just want to say I've always liked your content. It seems like there's a lot of people popping in the chat tonight saying they always like your content. I wonder if they have used their Twitch Prime subs. <laughs> I see what you did there, Mossy Beard. I see what you did there, buddy. I like where your head's at. Ace Steer Glider, you are just fine. Mediocre, but fine. Just played the SCG Standard Classics and seeing more blue-white cards makes me nauseous. Was there a blue-white, uh, a surge of blue-white decks? Did blue-white control win? Was it a blue-white control finals? I'm going to look right now. Don't even try to stop me. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Blue White hit one, one, two blue white decks in the top eight. That seems fine. Standard seems good right now. Yes, his name is Rob. Uh, it, it they, he, they, people, someone just in the chat just called him Swole Mike because it was funny. There were many Teferis in the classic. I'm looking at the top eight right now. There is one blue white historic deck. With two Teferis, and there is one blue eyed control deck with three Teferis. There are five Teferis in the top eight. That really doesn't seem like a lot of Teferis to me. Unless I'm missing something. I mean, 50% blue white doesn't actually matter if they don't actually translate to results. Because then it's just going to change, and people are going to be like, well, I can't win with these cards, so. Uh, Opt is not card draw, Opt is card filtering and a cantrip. Card draw gives you more cards to work with. Opt does not give you any more cards to work with. I'm going to take Zaheed because it's literally the best card we can open in this format. So. Uh, it's either Call of Cavalry or Second Cloud Reader Sphinx. I like them both. Yeah, this deck looks significantly better than the last deck already. Uh, funny, funny enough. I was going to say unfortunately, but I guess we're doing this draft now, so I'd, that seems fortunate. Yeah, I like Cloud Reader Sphinx as well. I don't like having this many five drops, but I also feel like uh, Jorah's Familiar is pretty good. Um, I also feel like we might be able to get another Call of the Cavalry if we really want one. Blink is also a two drop if we want it there. There you go. I also don't see Dauntless Bodyguard making the cut. I do like a good Mahamodi Dijin on turn four. Oh, do we just take Blessed Light number three? It's expensive, but probably still the correct pick. It's not Scholar. It's not Voltaic Servant. It's not Howling. It might be Memorial, but I think Blessed Light number three is just better. Thank you. Scarp, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Glad we could figure out your name. I've opened about 150 packs and only have one Karn and one Teferi and no Lyris. I've opened two boxes in real life and I've done about 42 drafts maybe on Magic Online. Actually, I don't even... might, might be more than that. Probably like 45 drafts on Magic Online. So, 45 times 3... nope, that ain't it. 3 plus... 36 plus 36. I've opened at least 207 packs, at least, and I've opened one Karn, so that's cool. <laughs> that doesn't sound cool at all. I agree with you. It does not. Daring Archaeologist, return an artifact from your graveyard hand. It's not terrible. Casting historic spells is good. I think it's better than the third Cloud Reader. I don't know if we... Yeah, it's probably Blink number two, just because we already have 13 creatures and the call is a 14th creature. So, I mean, it's I can definitely see... Going, like, all of, our, all of our spells, all of our cards are either removal spells or creatures, so... Oh, Quende. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll take a Quende. Our deck is needing more and more cuts now. I like Arcane Flight on Quende. That's pretty good. I can see cutting this guy, but... Then this moves over to here, and that's just worse, but... Like, that just changes our curve pretty fundamentally. <laughs> pretty badly. Cool. 
Quindy. Once again, it's a new, new rarity for the Constructed Pillow Mythics. Ultra Mega. Oh, yeah, it's going to be like Pokemon. Gideon's Reproach. You know, just in case you need more removal. I'm going to take out. God, this deck's removal is insane. Double Blink, Gideon's Reproach, Seal Away, Triple Blessed Light. That is a lot of removal. Honor Guards are kind of filler, but I really want to have something to do on turn two, so. I'll take Elephant. Of all the cards in this pack, Elephant's probably the most versatile. Well, being good for the curve is something to do, though. That's the thing. Like, I mean, I don't want to... Uh, we also... This is not very consistently a three-drop either. So, if we take this guy out and we take Honor Guard, we literally have, like, four creatures that we can play before turn four, which is pretty bad. I would significantly rather cut one of the blinks than, than have less things to do in the early game. So... It's just something you want to be conscious of because you don't want to. You don't. Want, if you end up with 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 hands in a good number of games where you can only play your first play on turn four, then it's not ideal. Have you seen the sweet new battle bond set? Yes, I have. It looks pretty sweet. I will be doing a. Uh, I guess a pre-release this week, and I don't know if it's a pre-release or a release. I have no idea how those sets work, but me and me and Rob are going to go up to uh, the store and and do a two-headed giant. It's not bad if the opponent doesn't do anything. Well, in that case, it doesn't matter if I uh, if I have a banal honor guard or not if they're not doing anything. So I will keep that in mind. Cabal strong. Dub is Dub is okay on Quende. It's literally just plus one plus one because he has double strike or plus two plus two. I'd rather put Arcane Flight on him because then it's it's just an it's one less it's one less plus one plus one, but it's also flight, which is evasion, so significantly better, I think. Like the knight is irrelevant and the first strike is irrelevant, so. What do you think of a year's worth of Ravnica sets? I'm fine with it. Ravnica sets have never been bad. I've never been disappointed drafting them or playing with them in standard. Um so if you want to make like that's just that's just a flavor thing right like the sets themselves have always stood up they've always held up so the only thing to be upset about that is for flavor reasons you just want more variety in, in like the planes we're on or what have you so um outside of flavor i can't see a reason why that would be bad in any way shape or form dragon's maze was the only uh ravnica set that wasn't good and that's not going to happen because it's not going to be there's not going to be anywhere small sets so All right, two cuts. If we don't want to include this guy, could also include this. I think this is probably better than. Well, I think this is actually too many blessed lights. I think we can actually cut one blessed light. Cut one blink. Actually, I don't like. I think glider is probably pretty pretty doo doo. I'd rather have an invoke than a glider. And invoke is also second for blessed light because we can deal with artifacts and enchantments. I actually, I kind of agree with you, but on the other hand, like I can tap this to make sure I can play Zahid on turn five. Uh. I don't like cutting sword. I think I'd rather. I mean, like we, it's not like we have a problem with removal. Is the thing like we have a seal away, a blink, and invoke, and double blessed light. I have no issues with removal. I would rather have ways for my creatures to actually punch through. I think sword is like a very necessary evil in this format. What up, Crom the Crazy? Um, I actually like the way this looks. Like, the ability on this is might not be super relevant, but it does. It is an artifact. Um, yeah, but this is only this is only relevant on turn seven, so I don't think these are these are not comparable. I can't cut this just because I have this because they're not doing the same thing. I think this is probably correct. 
And then it looks a little more like that if we draw this guy. I mean, we also have Syncopate. Like, so Blink, we have Blink and Syncopate. Plus, Blink is only, like, it's only really good on turn four anyway. You mean for the four drop genie? What does that mean? Oh, we have the yeah, but still, if we cut so like, I mean, then we only, then we have to draw like one of these. No, I don't. I don't like third blessed slide over short sword because like, uh, you, like you want different cards to do different things in limited. You don't just want to have a bunch of cards that do the same things. Like it's just you. You need this. Like if they have a two three on board, you don't want to have to use a blessed light when you have a two two that can simply be a three three with a short sword, like. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like you definitely want different cards to do different things. Like there's not you're not every game you're not going to need a blessed light against all their creatures. Like sometimes you just want a short sword to make your your three four a four five or a five six a six seven. So you know stuff like that. Plus, you can't. I don't want my hand to be clogged up with five drops. That seems terrible. Yeah, like this. So, we're going to mulligan. Yeah, this seems good. I will keep you on top because we have a Zaheed, and that's pretty gas. Uh, yeah, Arcane Flight's fine without a turtle. I mean, like, sometimes you just put on a guy and win. They don't always have removal, so. All right. Do 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 do. This guy's coming down. Yeah, no, removal is definitely MVP. I agree with you, but the problem is we have a ton of removal. We have a blink, we have a syncopate, we have a seal away, we have two blessed lights, and we have an invoke if we need it. So like that's six pieces of removal right there. Sometimes you just need one extra equipment that you can cheaply activate or cheaply cheaply equip instead of your sixth piece of removal is all. Also, this guy onto this guy. Whoo. That's bonkers. It'll never work out, but Stop playing all these creatures, man. Come on, three drop. So I don't have to take a million before that. All right, that'll do. I wish this this was like legendary permanent, because then your black blade would would count in Bolas's clutches would count on Sarah's wings would count twice. I will block whatever you. That's fine. Probably just blocking here, which sets us up nicely for the uh, in Bolas's not in Bolas's clutches sets us not sets us up very nicely for the uh, eldest reborn here. You ready? You guys ready? On the bright side, they can't Vicious Offering this guy, so. I mean, they can't do everything else. They could Blessed Light it. They could Seal Away it. They could. They can't cast it. Cast it out. Yeah, Eldest Reborn is probably going to be game over for us. Okay, that's not 
Eviscerate is also a thing. Oh, no Gideon's Reproach, though. That's pretty good. I fear the seal away. But we do have Invoke, actually, which is pretty good. All right. I'll walk into your seal away. Make me feel some seal away. And I actually think we want to call here instead of uh, Journey Mage. Journey Mage is good, but call blocks very well. <laughs> Didn't someone mention this? Oh, boy. Well, we have... I think we're just journey maging that guy now. That seems better. Everybody get in there. If you want to block, block. Totally fine. I will trade two Knight of New Benalias for one ca Call the Cavalry. Oh, an Arvad. Two, three, four, five. This guy's ten damage in the air. That's pretty good. What? Did we do we Ah, oh, okay, we paid the wrong one. Sure. Oh, it's eleven actually, because we played a land, so that's even better. Alright, so we'll eleven you put you to four. We have enough dudes on the ground. And if they have a seal away, we just invoke it. I got a lamp in my left hand. I got a sword in my right hand. I can't invoke that guy. Lamps to the left of me. Swords to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle of me. I'm filing for a divorce. Can't file for a divorce when I've already filed for one. Now they just gotta chump lock this guy. It's pretty good. Get him. Put that dude in the garbage can. Uh, bottom and, I don't know, top. It doesn't matter. Does it matter? It doesn't. Oh, it does actually because we can play Marshall next turn. And then both Clattered Sphinx and Zahid are lethal. They have two cards. One is the 4-2, so I think we're in... They got a top deck. They're in the top deck trenches right now. That's my new term. Top deck trenches. I just made it up. Can we make that a thing? Can we make the top deck trenches trend? Trending trenches? Why you gotta be so rude? I'm gonna matter it anyway. I almost want this 1-1, one, one, just this 2-1, just because they have a bunch of nerd dudes. Nerd dudes. Bunch of early nerd dudes. Tough 
Top trench decks, dang it. Mountain fight with fire would have been pretty sad. Did they have did they have enough lands? That would have been sad. I'm just gonna submit like this because I don't even care. This hand is great. Great. I don't think we need another blink. We still have a ton of things to do. Any one of our removal spells against the On Sarah's Wings is just fine. All six of our removal spells get rid of it, including Invoke. So I'm not really too worried about On Sarah's Wings. Like, I'm more concerned about not having things to do. Yeah, we probably won't be using that on your friend here. We're probably just going to go this guy... Into this guy, into this guy. All right, that's actually a good target for invoke. I'm okay with that. No blocks, good sir. No blocks. I'll stay. Strike. Can you answer the question, who gets custody of Hunter? I do. I, no one will ever get custody of Hunter. Ever. Never. Oh, interesting. That will also get invoked. I'm probably going to block this bird. And then invoke this thing. And then, then we're going to be like... Just, just great. Uh, who gets Mike? Anyone can have Mike. That's fine. Give me my life back. That's true. So one of a, some person, one person can get split, can get swole mic. One person can get thick mic. Oh, this is less scary. Robert is swole mic. That's what we're talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Hunter is greater than Mike to me. Hunter's been my dog for for like eight years. Hunter has been my best friend for eight years. Michael is his own human being. So Hunter will always be... Hunter's like my son. Also, I'm pretty sure there's at least one mosquito in this room that is biting the ever-loving crap out of me, and it is terrible. It is the most sad experience I've ever lived. Black Blade. That's pretty good, though. I kind of just want to bounce the forward drop. This guy gets big, but, like, I don't care, so... What does he get? Like, flying, first strike, and lifelink. If we attack you for three, you're just going to gain the three the three back. So I'll just wait. And then you can put a 1-1 one, one counter on your Baird if you'd like. Oh, I see. This is where you want to be. Okay. All right. You got it. I understand. I see. Misclick, they said. No, sir. My three or four blocks, like, like he thought I would bounce the, the guy with counters, but I don't care about it because it's only 3-3, three, three, like. This is why I pay you to draft. <laughs> oh. 
also, I just don't care about it. Put him in the trash can. Uh, we didn't have Blessed Light in our hand, I don't believe, when they had Edict. So, well, that's a good card. This guy. There's some pop noises we're making with our mouth. Bear it again, sure. Helm took over. I imagine Helm takes over a lot of things, so that does not surprise me. Well, this guy's unfortunate. Let's be honest. Next turn, they're gonna put it on, make a bunch of dudes. I guess they can't make it with. They can't make blockers, and they can't gain life. So we can also get rid of the first Baird Force and Nocoop again. This is so sad. I'm having a bad time. And this guy's got Vig. I guess we could double block. Oh, they're just not attacking. I understand. I see. Seal away, what's that for, is correct. I mean, next time we pay three, and then we pay four, and then we pay five. Like, we have the mana to actually pay for it if they don't have an answer to our Cloud Rider Sphinx, so. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Readers, Riders, whatever. Well, that's unfortunate. Or not. I don't know if that's unfortunate or not. I guess they lose half their life. Seriously? <laughs> thank you. God, never don't have it. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Really appreciate it. We're going to play Quende and then just hope to draw Arcane Flight and then kill you. I don't think that's going to work that way, but that's magic. So they're going to get five guys next turn. One, two, three, four, five. We can still pay five. That's fine. Boring. Arcane Flight. Short Sword. I mean, this is pretty obnoxious. We're probably going to save the Invoke for that. In the future. All right, so they go to six. We are we actually win with an arcane flight. So they go to eight. We no longer win with an arcane flight. This is cringy. You guys are getting really, really hung up on this blink. I don't think it matters. Like, what is a blink going to do on this board? Like, the best blink does is literally draw us a second card. One, two, three, four. So we have to pay six. We can still do it. We have about two turns to draw the stupid thing. But, I mean, they're setting us up for drawing it because Benalish Marshall keeps uh, Quende a 4 4. Yeah, Arcane still does it because of the Benalish Marshall, so. Fingers crossed. 
Cross my fingials. Oh, wow. Aggressive. Block you, block you, and block you. So we take eight here, is that correct? Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Maybe blocking with Quende might have been greedy if they have another Gideon's approach. I guess I'm just crossing my fingers that you don't actually have. <sighs> the exact card that you needed. Boy, tonight's been real miserable for, for drafts, huh? It's almost as if the opponent has had every exactly exactly everything they needed at every point in the game. Sure. Uh, I think we're fine. Bodyguard seems worse now. Uh, I'd rather have an unwind, to be quite honest. I mean, they have Gideon's Approach, Blessed Light, the other thing. So. That was a good draw. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. I don't really feel like we're... Uh, their deck is super aggressive. It's really uncomfortable. If we can draw planes here, that'd be great. Because we can go Marshall into... Equip short sword for a four four. It also means we have uh, I think this is fine. I don't want to take a million damage from their deck. Yeah, this is a situation where, like, if this short sword was a blessed light, we'd be in significantly worse shape. Give me an island so I can blink that guy and feel good about it. Island one time. Okay, that's fine. We'll marshal. Marshal, marshal, marshal. I'm not as concerned with a 2-2, two -two, so. Oh. <sighs> I will take it. I'll also assume you have Gideon's Approach or Blessed Light in hand, because you have a handful of white cards. Well, I guess we'll get in there. Interesting. Well, I feel like we're doing okay here. Could have played that pre-com if I wanted to keep up Blink, so we didn't. Oh, boy. Oh, that's good, because now you can't have Light. Now you just have to have Reproach. But we have a Quende. Quende, bloody Quende. That doesn't make any sense. We'll keep that guy back, actually. 
It's a good trade. I'll take it. Because if they have Reproach, they go Reproach this guy, block Quende, and then they still get in with this guy. Or they block with this guy to put the counter on the stupid Unicorn. So, I mean, we have Blink. We can always bounce this guy at any point, so. OMG Zora, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Preach. Oh, that was a good draw. I can't believe the news, Quende. I can't just close Quende and make him go away. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, I think I do a Blessed Light. They don't have Blessed Light. They go to four here. I'm intrigued. What is even happening? Oh, they have, what was this a whoops concede? Oh, oh, I see. Double torment, Partic Wander, Ergos, Cabal Paladin. Yep, that'll do. Yeah. All right, let's do uh, do the next thing. Let's do it again. I can't just close my eyes and make it go away. I'll see how we did on the tubes. That sounds weird when you say it like that. This hand seems good. I will keep this hand. Ha oh. ha. Look, it's getting better. You owe me a draft. How dare you? Oh, look. Look, our opponent's like trying to get revenge here. Buddy, don't even get me started. Oh. <laughs> well, then. This hand is good. We have all the things. Uh, we won the last match. We are 1-0 right now. So, we played a guy. Played against a guy named Cobalt. He wasn't that great though. He was kind of a noob. So, you know, just kidding, Cobalt. Just kidding, buddy. That's a good one. That's a big. That is a big old slimy, slimy feats. I cannot think of a better use for this. I don't really feel like playing this guy yet because there's no real reason for it. Like, we can actually just keep up Gideon's approach. F fudge. Fight me, IRL. <laughs> Oh, yep, you got it. You got it. Next time we can play Journey Mage or I guess just Journey Mage. Wow, you can't ask for attacks like this. That's like the best attack I've ever seen. Well, now I'm tempted to just play this guy. We don't have a six land, so actually we can just play this as a 3-3. Three, three. Which is pretty okay. And now it's two cards, two cards. We have a 3-3 three, three on board, so. In 2018, it's more common than you think. Oh, a Thalid Omnisaurus. Play it again. Gideon just clocked you in the face. Hey, this is the same guy. What a time to be alive. I'll trade. I'll trade Journey Mage for Thalid Omnivore. No? Didn't like that idea, huh? All right. Well, then.
Yep. Oh, intriguing. I mean, that doesn't make you better on defense, so we'll just get in there again. You didn't want to block last turn. Now I got you to spend three more manas. Three whole more manas. And Gideon's Reproach, which is why you have the white in your deck. Onslaught. Eh, well, I'll be a son of a biscuit. Their deck has seemed good so far. Wild Onslaught, Slimefoot, Blackblade, Thalid Omnivore, Jousting Lance. Like, all their cards are fine. Can we get a Zahid of the Lamp? That would be cool. Honor Guard's okay, I guess. Well, they have one card, so... They have no crads. Three, three. Get sorted on. So what were your thoughts for bouncing my steward versus the one with counters instead of because you already had the... Uh, I didn't need the removal, actually. I mean, you have a, a one, one with two counters. So you have a three, three. I have a three, four and a three, two. So your guy does nothing against my board. If I bounce it, you still have a two, four Baird. So... You just replay the 1-1, one, one, and your Baird gets plus 2, so like I have to block that. I have to double block that. I mean, it, it, you get to trade with one of my guys, um, but like you are you're only you only have to spend one more mana that turn. So if you have a removal spell, like a Gideon's Reproach or a Blessed Light, I go to double block your Baird, and it's terrible for me because you can kill one of my Flyers. You can kill my Flyer, and then you just get to eat my other guy. Um, whereas if I bounce your Baird, you don't actually get to replay him that turn and keep something else up. So... Like your 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 three three is just not a threat to me when it doesn't have Sa on Sarah's on Sarah's wings, it's just a three three and I have a three four. Like it just, I don't. It doesn't matter if it has counters on it. It's, it's still a three three. Like it's it's basically a stronghold, uh, whatever the the one one that gets two counters on it. It's just the same thing. It's just a three three. <laughs> like that's basically my my logic. And I'd rather tie up your mana next turn and make you pay the four, pay for the four drop again, than than make you just pay one mana. Like that was more important to me at that moment. So, make it go away. Sunday blood is Sunday. Deck seems fine. I'm not really super. Oh, ooh, 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 this hand is gas. I don't know, man. Play the blue white deck. Always win your games, I guess. That was presumptuous. We didn't we didn't win yet, so. Crom, 100 bit. Thanks so much, man. Awesome explanation. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Pow pow. This is pretty good. Oh, a Marwin. A Marwin from Lorwin. I don't know if that's what it is. Come seal away with me. Come seal away. I don't care about any of these things. They're all dead to me. We could also just journey mage here, but I think we're going to play Zaheed of the Lamp. For very, very obvious reasons. That's he, marvelous. He's a eat of the lamp. Not gonna block. I'll just take three. I think you'll see. Equipping with black blade, the reforged. I'm gonna have a guy on board. He's gonna attack for a million, and it's gonna be good. I think we're just playing journey mage first here, because next time we can keep invoke and equip. Actually, this is a this is ten damage in the air, but then I guess I guess you can eat a bunch of guys. And your deck has wild onslaught, so I'd rather not deal with that nonsense. Ooh. 
Gotta still eat, gotta eat to win. Tell you when I have the time. One jump ahead of the jump jump. Jump jump, we're jumping. Gonna jump, that's a really good card. Gonna play my Thalid Omnivore. I think their draw might be better. I wish they didn't gain life from that card. Yeah, we're just gonna eat everything. Actually, I don't care about you as much as I care about the Sapos. Sapos are better because they do things. <sighs> A sweet buds deck. <laughs> oh my gracious. So we can equip and play Keep of Invoke, but that doesn't do anything. Just play Academy Drake. We're at nine. Are we dead? What do we gotta do? We gotta we gotta block here so we can chump here. You're not attacking with this guy. If they have wild onslaught, it's actually hilarious because their 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 game just ends up being so much better than ours. We're gonna play this guy because if we draw a land, we can equip it as well. So. But right now, we are not in the position to attack, especially because their Omnivore gives them... Holding up Invoke on our own sword does not seem where we want to be. Tell me when I have the time. Of course, they could just block here, actually. That's pretty bad. I imagine they have Wild Onslaught here, right? One jump ahead of the jump jump. Swing dudes, kill that thing. They're gonna Wild Onslaught me. That's everything. Here we go. Here we go. Wild Onslaught. Well, that's annoying. have one card boy this game got much harder than I thought it would be that's really sad but I think he's rather tasty yeah that's a good one that's a good target I'll take six here. You don't actually have anything you can gain life with. Or you don't have you can't sack this. You can sack one dude to make it an eight-eight, which is fine. I'll take eight. Are you gonna do it? Don't say you're not gonna do it. Give me a land. That's good. So we can attack for ten here. This guy's kind of problematic. Gotta keep him problematic. Hey, don't pay no mind. Gonna throw away a guy right now. Can I donate ticks for the next draft? You can definitely do that. I would never stop you. And this is 10 life right here. But then we lose our, our Black Blade, which is pretty brutal. Wow. Wow, their draws are very good. Boom, boom. Is this the on Sarah's Wings deck? That was the last deck, wasn't it? Well, I guess we'll block because we have to. Sure. Four in the air.
I don't have a card to discard. What is this? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can actually put them to 1 if we draw land. That's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Short Sword is also 1. Arcane Flight would actually do it, but we wouldn't have enough mana, so no, it wouldn't. On Sarah's Wings would do it if we had it in the deck, because then we can go On Sarah's Wings for four and then use the Emerging Three to equip because it would then be legendary. However, it's not in our deck. Although, on the other hand, none of the cards that they... I mean, Seal Away is good right now. Blink, Blink is good. Our Double Blessed Lights are good. Like, the only thing that's... Like, we have a lot of good cards to draw here. Go block... Block. So let's say we have one guy left. We go block here. We can go block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. But we gain three at that point. So. Yeah, he has to use the Break the Sword, which is why we have not been attacking with the ground guy. Otherwise, it'd be great. You just gotta keep throwing this guy in the front. I guess one thing we could do is actually play Black Blade Reforged on a guy here. Just to have it. Wow! Oh my god, your draws are amazing. I'm so proud of you. Alright. That's actually pretty good, I think. Is this, is this good? Does this save us? We go block here on the 6. But then they just sack a million dudes. So we want to chump block here and actually block something else. And a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But we gain 11. So we actually break even. So we attack for four in the air, and they have to. Tr they're going to gain two life, so they go to eleven. But we can actually kill them next turn if, if they don't. If we don't die here, and they can't actually get anything that's super. Oh, they get journey mage back. We're dead. I did not actually see that, so that's pretty upsetting. Wow, <laughs> comical. All right, give me one. I don't think we're actually going to board anything. Maybe Blink is good here. Blessed Light also seems good when they have... Uh, yeah, we'll just bring in the other Blessed Light and we'll submit. Maybe maybe Unwind is actually better. It gets rid of... Eh, no, we don't want Unwind instead. I'm going to submit like this, then I'll grab a drink. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Oh, well, actually, that just started, so... I'll play first. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We can wait. I'm not putting second blink in because I just don't think it's that... It's not better than our other cards. Oh, you conceded to me. I didn't know that. I thought you lost the game. My bad. Well, that's... obnoxious. I mean, ideally they're going to equip this to try to get the plus two, and then we can uh, respond by killing it, wasting their turn. No, they did not do that. Okay. Well, we don't want to do nothing, I suppose. Hey, it's a land. Why don't you look at that? Yeah, it's like there's no way you're actually not blocking that. All right. Yeah. Oh, look, it's oh, it's ew, you're skinny. The old I forgot to I forgot Patreon. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. You're, you're just kidding. I totally forgive you, buddy. Don't even worry about it. Come sail away with me. Are you guys going to come sail away with me? Take my money. <laughs> Insert fry gif. That actually would be a pretty good... Uh, that's a pretty good donation gif, I guess. A little take my money. I cannot imagine a scenario. Whoa, Mike, thank you so much, man. Ew, you're skinny. Thank you so much, dude. That is insane. You are awesome. Really appreciate it, buddy. I got notifications on everything. I think I got notifications on my phone and my email and on... That was really loud for, like, having my volume as low as it is. I'll actually attack here, and if you want to block with either the Thalid Soothsayer or double sap, triple Sapperlings, I'm fine with either. All right, that's even that's even better. And we can move this over now because he only has one damage on him, so that should be good. Still in good shape here. <laughs> oh, good times. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we can win this. I feel like we're in a situation where, like... I didn't have any Chipotle burritos today. That's sad that you would think that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wow. Oh, you changed your mind. Oh, I see. Um... So if they have Wild Onslaught, which we assume they do... We get to kill one dude. So I'll kill you. I assume you got something, so whatever. Been studying nonstop and going for my electrical license next month in the first time I've turned up. Nice. I, I I mean no no worries whatsoever, man. Life is life is busy. I appreciate it. That here we go. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Sacrifice him to himself? Sure. Deal. That's actually fine. You get three two twos. We have a seal away and a journey mage and a bunch of weapons. Although I don't think that's going to translate to a win here, but... Especially when they go Eldest Reborn. <laughs> Yeah, Wild Onslaught is a ridiculous card in this cube. Oh, come on. I'll go to 30. Wait, what are we waiting for the July rent to update for? I don't understand. Oh, uh, that was a Patreon con contribution. That was not a donation. That was for Patreon. Yeah, whatever. I'll get in there. We'll get in there. Put you to 8. I'll go to 33. Seems good. I'm pretty sure we just block a sapperling. What do you get back here? Jousting Lance? Yeah, that's fine. Give me a land so I can actually put it on this guy and it's unbelievably good. What is he, 10 10? Land me one time. 
Oh, that's not land at all. That's not even a card I can blink. That's stupid. Or a card I can kick is what I meant here. <sighs> yeah, deal. <laughs> a blank. 10, 10 incoming. One time, one time. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is too many things. I think we're actually going to blink this guy because if we don't do that, unless they attack, if they attack, I don't care. Because I want to hit a land so I can make a 10-10, but they have, yeah, that's totally fine then. Wait, you know I have this, right? That's interesting to me. Island. Thank you. That should be the end. We're going to gain 10. This is just a 10-10. NBD. I could not have tapped those lands faster. Hey, boss, we're going to win. Looks like it, son. It looks like we might be winning here. I mean, they're they're uh, priced into blocking every single turn, so they're also in top deck mode. Ha! Got him. That'll do. That'll do. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna use restroom, then I'll be right back.
Oops. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Even though I was the one who left. All right. Let's finish it up. Oh, yeah. Cobalt, you can open trade with me. Just open right now if you want. I will play first. I will keep this. All right. Let's go. I'm just going to go to the Goat Moss one. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Cobalt, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, buddy. I'll actually use this if you don't mind to do an uncommon draft. Oh, I just totally... A uncommon cube draft after this, if you don't mind. Frank, I'm struggling to find the Discord info. Mind directing me, friendo. Um... You should, you have to use the desk, the desktop app. If you connect your Twitch account or your Patreon account, I guess, and uh, the Discord channel, it should just happen automatically. I don't know. Like, it's hard to, can anyone else help? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Cobalt, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That was awesome. I thought they almost skipped their turn. I mean, I think they did almost skip their turn. Give me a little, let me all lands. Frank, I just want you to know that I'm watching the stream, and whenever you take a break, I unpause on our YouTube videos on my other monitor. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's actually pretty hilarious. The content is all consuming. Hey, we hit a land. Look at that. God, we're so good at this game. You want to follow me for five years? Okay, that's creepy, man. Oh, the old Shiv and Fire again. They're very good at this game. They're they're better than we are at this game. That's really sad. Oh, a little one one. Oh, didn't didn't draw land there. Any island should draw us into a cloud arena or sphinx arena, but see, and this is why you don't want infinite five drops in your deck, guys. Let that be a lesson to you. As you can imagine, I will not be playing Gideon's approach on this little bird. Two headed giant. Call the cavalry. All right, that's fine. Island, one time, friendo. All right, whatever. You know what? It's a land. I'll take it. Holy poop? Yeah, holy poop's pretty good. Do I get in's approach? Probably. So we can they can adamant will and we can take a million. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm not in the business of using two spells on one call of the cavalry, so once we blink it, I'll feel better because it will replace itself. But this is a two-headed giant. Keldon Raider. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Well, let's try not to miss our sixth land drop. Or our fifth land drop on turn six. We didn't. We're doing very good. We're good at Magic the Gathering. More like Smeldon Raider. You ain't wrong, buddy. I want both of these. I think putting this on the bottom is a mistake, but I also don't think it's very good for us right now. I think we actually have to bottom it, which is really sad because that is a game-winning card. I don't think we need I think we can keep it though I think we can keep it journey mage is going to bounce this guy um we have invoke to keep us alive blessed to keep us alive blink is going to draw us into another card I think we be, I think it's I think it's greedy but I also think it's the right thing to do which is interesting so you know fingers crossed I guess they played a lance. That's pretty scary. But we have Invoke now, so it's all good. Do we just block here, bounce here? I guess we can take eight and then feel good about... We can actually Invoke and Blink? We know what we're drawing. So 
So we go to eight, but then we can invoke this thing and then not do anything else though, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm less concerned with the flying guy because we have Blessed Light for this guy if we really need it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I remember still being deployed and Frank and I literally put a deck together using the two boxes of Dragon's Maze to put a standard deck together for states turning went to the day I got back. Nice. Yeah, that's a good card to have with uh, Jousting Lance. Hey, who saw that coming? Now we just have to keep our things up. Keep my Patreon page and it's supple reward tiers. That's what we want you to do. And you can just take three here. Yep. No blocks, because that's a uh, flies. It's got float. Oh my god, just stop. Where were you last turn? Moan Frere. So we're actually going to keep up Syncopate and Invoke. Black Blade doesn't do much here. We have a lot of cards that are live, which is unfortunate. I guess we could blink here instead, blink one of the tokens. But I like the Invoke better because, boy, is that less scary. All right, we'll take three, go to six. I thought our hand was great here, but then double shiv and fire, call, call, really put us behind. So, you know, got that going for us. <laughs> Comical. Might as well cast this now. If we draw another island, we can queue up syncopate, which we did. So now we're getting to a point where, like, we play a guy, we play Black Blade Reforged, and we can almost equip it as well, so. Guy. Any guy. Any guy will do. That's a, that's a dude. That'll do. So we are one away from the, uh, the dangers of Fight with Fire, so... What tribal deck do you like to play for fun? I don't actually play any tribal decks for fun. But if I had to choose a tribe... That's a good question. That's actually... Frustrating. Maybe not... Maybe not tremendously frustrating, though. We go to three, and then we still have a blocker and a counter spell, so... Oh, that's actually also pretty good. Any guy will do. Any guy will do. I have... I think it's just Arcane Flight keep up Syncopate. But is there any better time to Cloud Rider Sphinx than, there, than right now? Probably not. It forces them to deal with two guys. I'll uh, put you on top. I'll put both of you on top, actually. I put them in the wrong order, though, because I didn't think I was putting the other one on top. So that might cost us the game, unfortunately. If they don't do anything here, though, Syncopate is some good. All right, I think we just I think we're okay now. 
Um, they're actually, what is it, 7 out of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They're actually priced into blocking here, which is pretty good for us. Like, they just have to chump block here. Oh, or they don't, and we just win the game. Yeah, that's fine too, I guess. That <laughs> seems... All right, easy choice. I did not know. <sighs> blink actually seems better. Now Now I like blinking blink, blink because they have all the two twos. I think blinking a two two is significantly... One of two two twos is better than blinking one of four one ones. So... Yeah, I'll just submit like this. I don't really see us... I can also see bringing in, like, Rescue as, like, a way to counter, like, their Shiv and Fire. Why throw away a 1-1 one -one when you can just, you know, lose the game instead? So maybe that maybe that island on top, maybe that land on top was the correct play. Who knows? <laughs> Certainly not us. Man, this is what I mean. Like, Black Blade, everyone is like, what if you don't have a lot of legendaries? And, like, it doesn't matter. The card's insane. If you get to 7 mana, which you will very likely do, it just wins you the game. Oh, Thank you. Iron Chef Sammy with a 27 month sub. This is my longest relationship in my life. <laughs> well, I am honored that it could be me, buddy. Honored that it could be me. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. This almost makes me not want to play Academy Drake just because we did see two Shivan fires. But, yep, there's one of them. Okay. Having a good time. But not a great time. I'm just going to play this here because it lets us Academy Drake and equip next turn, which is probably better. Man, this Mesa Unicorn is going to do some, do some heavy lifting here. Land. I actually want to land now because we have triple five drops in our hands, so... You can you can understand. And again, it gets brings you back to the point of like you're come on, dude. Jeez. Oh, I have it every game, just so you know. Like my magic the gathering off the line opening hand is always two shivin fires and the assortment of terrible creatures that are very good, but you're gonna call them terrible because you're salty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much on point, I would say. Alright. Can we If you're skinny, we'll figure it out. Let me know. Uh, let me know tomorrow. Like, try to get a hold of me tomorrow, and we'll see if we can figure it out. Wow. <laughs> sure. I guess I should have waited. If I waited, it would have got a free hit in. But I didn't actually presume they'd have invoke in their hand at that exact moment. So we're gonna go to six. Hit a land. Hit a Quende, which actually we can cast. Surprisingly good. Doesn't gain us any life, but. You sound exactly like a dude. Oh, do I sound exactly like the LGS guy? Yeah, that's a good card. I guess we'll go to one. Does Arcane Flight kill them here? Doubt it. Wow, that would be funny if it did, though. One more land. How much would that be? We'd have one more land. We'd have 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. That would be 18 damage. God, it's so close, dude. It's actually surprisingly close. Like, it's two turn clock. Yep, you got me. Sometimes I try to sound like Frank. Makes sense to me. Wanna be, I wanna be like Frank, Frank. If I can be like Frank. I will play first. I will keep this hand all day. How good is your, how good is your shiv and fire now? If we could draw, oh my god, let's draw Black Blade Reforged one time, please. They had to mulligan because they didn't have both shiv and fires in their opening hand, so that makes sense. 
And now they're like, oh, I only have one ship in fire, so do I just go to five? I guess I go to five. They kept on five. Why aren't we playing dub? Why would we why would we be playing dub? Dub does not seem very good. Dub is not great. That is correct. Wow, mold of five with a Gitu Lava Mancer. Oh my god. That draw though. Ooh. The hottest of fire. How about a three drop into a land? Can we do that? Let's make that happen. Oh boy. I'll just take a land. That should put us way farther ahead than we need to be. Uh oh. Now it looks like we got a game. I thought that was pretty sweet. I haven't played much time. Um, it's just it doesn't it doesn't give you evasion. Um, and it's just like it's it's literally you either have dub for three mana for plus two plus two and first strike, or you have arcane flight which is plus one plus one but you get flight and it costs one mana. So, it's two mana less. It costs literally the lowest amount of mana you can have and it gives you evasion. I think arcane flight is significantly better than dub, especially on a guy like Quende. Oh, uh, Quende. I'm pretty sure we're just playing this guy. I can't imagine a situation where this guy is not not the correct play here. I also feel like we just won this draft. Every time we try to, every time we start losing horrendously to decks that are not blue white, we just play a blue white deck and go three zero to replenish the non Karn, non Teferi, non Lyra packs. I actually think uh, History of Benali is more expensive than Lyra now, is it not? Yeah, History of Benali is 12. Lyra is only 7, so... You know, I'll take either. I'm not going to be picky about it. Six, seven in the air. You got the seal away? Doesn't look like it. I mean, it's not terrible. And I mean, there's definitely... Here's the thing. There's definitely going to be situations where it is good, right? I think in general, though, that's not really a card I would... Oh, and we just go 3-0. That's pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons on the YouTube page. Uh, those definitely help out. And if you want to support the content of the stream or what have you, you can check out my Patreon page. It's in the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.